places all over the world. Oh, cool. So, um, oh, do I get to hold one? Oh, my gosh, ah, yes. If I you can. smell so good. Feel, you get washed. Hey, sweetheart. Lay down sweetheart. on your um, lap like that. So, or sit. He'll lay okay. down probably Okay, eventually. and if he moves, that's fine. I mean, you know, if he jumps out. Oh, he's, he's not going to move. Hey, this one does. Hi, you little precious angel baby. Oh, so oh, I know. You've got dogs too, don't I you? Do, in, real, yes. in real life. Yeah, I do. <laughs> well, Ashley, it's wonderful to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, there's kind of a big responsibility here. I'm with one of the stars of the movie. Besides, I'm with the other star of the movie. <laughs> yeah. um, there is a big responsibility for Sharpay, given the high school musical connection and so on. So, feel like a responsibility there. Yeah, um, I definitely felt like, well, it's kind of its own movie, you know, it's not obviously a continuation of High School Musical, it isn't even a musical, it's, you know, uh, I organically sing in this one, um, but, uh, you know, I think it's a, it's a really great script, it was a lot of fun, and um, I think that people who love the character of Sharpay are going to love this movie, just because you kind of just get to go into her world even more. There's always, like, bits and pieces in each movie that you got to see, but, like, this one you're kind of diving in. And she's a fun character, so I think people will really enjoy it. But even if you've never seen the high school musicals, which I don't know who hasn't, but if you haven't, yeah. this is this stands by itself, which it is does, really yeah. nice. Yeah, which is great. And um, you get to see, you know, obviously people who have seen it kind of see the Sharpay, you know, how she is in the very beginning of the movie, but then you get to see her kind of grow as a, as a person and... Um, you know, she's the most vulnerable she's ever been in this movie, which is really great. It is, and, and we like her. You had to make her sympathetic. I mean, yeah. much more sympathetic. So that was kind of a little bit of a twist. Well, you had to kind of, you know, you had to root for her. You had to feel for her. Where in the other movies, you just loved to hate her. So, <laughs> you know, it was definitely like a different approach to this movie as the character. So. And again, you mentioned the organicness of the musical itself. But it's not a musical. This is a movie with music. Yes. And I like that. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I just felt like it was, you know, they had kind of talked to me about making it a musical and, and what my thoughts were. And I was just like, you know, I think that, you know, I, I felt like High School Musical was great for, for what it was. But this, I just liked the idea of kind of just getting more into the story and, and having the music be organic. Because mm -hmm. she's, you know, auditioning for a Broadway show. So it kind of just really worked out. Of course, the characters are playing celebrities, celebrity wannabes, they want this world. Who did you base Sharpay on in this movie? I mean, do you, did you have someone in mind that you were like, this is how this person is or might be? Or Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is that it's funny because like, I did base the character when I first started playing her in High School Musical 1 like kind of off of a bunch of different characters. Um, that I really enjoyed, one of them being Rachel McAdams in Mean Girls, just because I loved how she, you know, you kind of loved her. Like, even though she was mean, you just, like, loved watching her. And so I really wanted to make sure that Sharpay was that character, that even though she was being mean, you kind of wanted her in the movie still. And so, um, so that was what she was originally based off of. By this time, by the fourth time playing her, I was so, like, she was, like, second nature to me that <laughs> I didn't really base her off of anything, but I just was, like, putting her in a situation where it was definitely harder, you know, because... In high school, she felt like she was Queen Bee, she was the most popular, she was the drama queen, stirring up trouble, where in this movie, she had to idolize somebody else, mm -hmm. and that was very hard, because she only idolizes herself, and so I was like, you know, but then I had to think, okay, if this was, you know, she really isn't a celebrity, but this other person is a celebrity, like Cameron played this, you know, larger than life, you know, the girl who was on... I think, like, you know, she came from some reality show, and so I had to make sure that Sharpay, like, in a way, she just, like, was, that's what she wanted to be at the end of the day. And then assisting her, that was, like, a whole other story. <laughs> I was like, Sharpay would never want to be someone's assistant. But it's very true to somebody who is trying to make it in this business, where they will go to those extremes because they want it so bad, and they're facing, you know, all these challenges. But... I love the like the lessons in this movie and, and how you just have to believe in yourself and you have to keep on going. But remember why, you know, you're there and remember like just you gotta keep believing.